Okay, so hey guys, and welcome back to another predictions video. And in today's video, I'm be predicting the Plant versus Benavidez fight. If you are new around here and you haven't subscribed, please do so. Like the video if you enjoyed the video, like the video, and let's get straight into it. So, going into this fight, Plant is 22 and one with 13 KOs, and Benavidez is 26 and 0 with 23 KOs. This fight is for the WBC interim world super middleweight title. Plant's last fight was a win via KO in round nine versus Dirrell, and what a win that was! That was a very emphatic victory. Uh, Benavidez last fight was a win via TKO in round 3 versus Lemieux. Also on this stacked card is Ramos versus Spencer, in which I think Spencer will win via unanimous decision. Uh, it's a very stacked card, a very good card. This is the only fight which I wanted to, or kind of picked out to speak about. I would have spoke about any of the other ones to be fair as well. It's a very good card. Uh, I think this will be a tight, close fight. I've, I don't see either of them getting stopped. Uh, I think Spencer, though, winning via decision. Also on this great card, uh, Kevin Gonzalez, Chris Colbert, Cody Crowley, all also on this card. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, a very good Showtime card. Uh, this is a grudge fight and a very important one for the division. Of course, neither of these two people like each other, so that kind of ups the ante a lot. Um, and, of course, very important fight for the division. I'm glad to see it's happening. This fight might be kind of similar to ones that should happen and don't always happen and I'm very glad to see this happening and I'm very much looking forward to this fight. Plant's only loss came via TKO in round 11 versus Canelo. Since then of course he's got the victory and he's now on com somewhat of like a comeback uh, to eventually, his goal is eventually to get that revenge and be able to beat Canelo. Uh, Plant note is fast, sharp, slick, has great combinations, likes mid-range uh, changes levels very well, has great hand movement, is powerful, accurate, has great timing, is ruthless, composed, determined, exploits the body, he has great double hooks, uh, finds openings, is technical, and has been through a lot. I mean, that's just to say that a few things about him as a fighter, pretty much just using every adjective going there, and he, like I said, a great fighter. That combinations, when he puts them together very well, and very accurate um their double hooks is something that he's been exploiting very much recently and that's what got him the ko in his last fight that hook to the body hook over the top to that kind of original hook to the body just to be able to drop the guard and then the hook over the top to be able to exploit that dropped guard is so working so well for him and is something which is very very good and of course that was hope helping very much find the openings he is a technical boxer um, he does have great skill. Like I said, he's been through a lot, not just in boxing, but in his personal life as well. So that kind of drive and determination is definitely also there for him. Um, the kind of argumentative about bad things about him is uh, he, he can fight on the outside. Uh, he doesn't always want to engage too much and he kind of invites that pressure on towards him. Uh, he has a low guard, so he's open to taking blows and he does occasionally take blows uh, he's not as comfortable on the inside which is something which i think benavidez is better in definitely i would say better in uh fighting on that inside and he kind of like i said prefers that mid-range but when he is at that mid-range and he's allowed to be at that mid-range he is very dominant benavidez though is a high volume tempo fighter with great combinations he'll walk you down he has fast hands he's relentless he has a great chin he has heart He's always in front of you, he punches through the guard, he has a high guard and he's imposing using his body. That high volume tempo bit is something which is so interesting for him as a fighter. He can kind of coast through fights at times but when he switches it, he switches it so well. He'll switch it maybe once, twice around, and it's just so unpredictable and then he suddenly will just throw crazy amounts of combinations and just use the, the fast hands and it's just something you can't really kind of stop and he has power in them punches as well and if he's just constantly landing combinations in big flurries uh, at different points in each round uh, catching you off guard each time is something so difficult to counter and he doesn't even really seem to get tired from doing that and so when he does stop opponents and he has done in the past the way he does it is just so crazy the way he just switches like that and then he's just suddenly throwing loads of punches and suddenly all over the fighters and just landing with every shot is it's crazy and he will punch through that guard so that power is is going to get through the guard and them combinations and that speed is going to get through the guard and so that's why he can be so good and he also 
is he's going to be the bigger fighter from what I believe and so he is going to be imposing using the body again he does that in lots of his fights he might be put up against the ropes at some points in fights Plant also gets put up against the ropes but uh, yeah Benavidez might get put up against the ropes at certain times in fights but he just kind of imposes his body and just his will and then just doesn't even really stay on there for long because the fighters just can't keep him on there and it's it's something very impressive and so very interesting the maybe negatives about him is he's open to he's open to countering like i said he does get put on the ropes at times similar to plant uh, like i said he can coast at times and so when he isn't turning up the tempo he can coast a little bit uh, he is a big target like i said he stands straight on at points and so that's something where big target standing straight on more options perhaps for openings uh, he's not the best defensively wise but the is attacking wise is just so good that I'm not saying he's bad defensively, he has good head movement, but he, he, yeah, his best def his defensive movement isn't the best. Um, but yeah, they use that high guard uh, to be able to kind of counteract that. Uh, and so overall, a great fight. I'm very much, like I said, looking forward to this fight. Uh, Plant is arguably the close favourite for this fight. Like I said, it is very close. As I've seen people giving it Benavidez, seen people giving it Plant, and so it's close. Uh, I think, though, that Benavidez will win via TKO in round nine. I think he is just going to impose his will too much and his relentlessness is just going to be too much for Plant. And I think Plant can, that kind of outside fightingness is something that Benavides is going to like and going to want. And if he can cut off the ring versus Plant, which is difficult because his movement is very good Plant. Uh, yeah, similar kind of Mayweather-like movements at times. But I think if he can cut off the ring and use his combinations, he will be able to get him out of there uh, within, the, uh, within the ninth round via TKO and... I still think, like I said, it would be a great fight, great competition of skill. Um, and then I think the only real next option is him to, to fight Canelo. That is the fight that needs to happen after the canelo Ryder fight. That is the fight that needs to happen. Um, and hopefully it will happen. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. Like the video, if you didn't like the video, subscribe if you're new. And thanks for watching.